What's going on, everybody? It's Mr. AGZ here, bringing you a LOLs battle here. <laughs> I'm against Sam, who we just saw recently. Um, he's got his Pikachu, Blastoise, Venusaur, Snorlax, Lapras, and his Charizard. And LOLs, I accidentally grabbed some random pokes because I was trying to raise one of my guys. And um, <laughs> Sam challenged me to a battle, and I figured, okay, sure, why not? And I misclicked, and I picked the wrong team. But I figured, you know what, let's go ahead and do this. Might as well. Let him get a win off me. It'd be fun. Bringing in this... <laughs> Sin here, bringing in my little Joltik, my Carablast, my Natu. That's right, because he's not Zatu. I've got my Garchomp, <laughs> my Red Eyes, and my Sceptile. Sam's coming in with all of Ash Ketchum's Pokemon, so... Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that's all I can really say. Um, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so Sam sends out Charizard to begin the battle. I go ahead and send out Joltik. Look at that little guy. Look at those little beady eyes. He's going to go ahead and Mega Evolve to Charizard Y. Unfortunately for me, there goes Charizard Y. Not looking forward to this battle at all. <laughs> I'm laughing all the way here because I'm thinking okay this is gonna be like a six turn battle he runs infernal my Joltik is able to avoid the attack and get a thunder wave off on this Charizard at this point I'm like really did that just happen awesome I switch out my Joltik because I figured hey maybe I can use him for later paralyze some other people bring in my not to that's right my little bird Charizard uses fly not what I wanted to see I'm gonna go ahead and use Leer but he avoids the attack Charizard is paralyzed, <laughs> so that worked out perfectly. He withdraws and sends out Pikachu. Pikachu comes in against my Natu. I use Leer against him. <laughs> Get that awesome Leer attack. Lower down Pikachu's defense, and I switch out my Natu. <laughs> I switch him out, and I bring in Joltik, another electric Pokemon. I figure, might as well, right? Here comes a Thunderbolt. Now... With this battle format, it raises all my pokes to level 50. Luckily for me, because I think my Joltik's level like 4 at this point. Here comes a T-Wave. Um, I'm able to survive it. <laughs> because I'm an electric type Pokemon, it's not going to affect me. I go ahead and run String Shot. Now since he's slower, I'm going to Bug Bite this Pikachu. Rawr! Now he's going to run Thunderbolt, and that's going to be the end of me. <laughs> Thunderbolt hits him. It's not very effective, but it does cause my little itty bitty Joltik to faint out. I'm going to go ahead and bring in my Scythe now. One of my bigger guys here. He withdraws Pikachu at this point, not wanting to take an attack from my Scythe. He brings in Lapras. Obviously, I don't want to take an attack from Lapras, but since I ran an attack, here comes that Leaf Storm. It's actually going to do a lot of damage to Lapras. I am very surprised that this happened. I'm going to go ahead and switch out my Scythe because I wasn't sure if I was faster than his Lapras, even though Lapras usually goes down pretty quick. I switch out to Regice, and Lapras runs Ice Beam. <laughs> Here comes the Ice Beam. Does a little bit of damage, not much. I'm going to go... He's going to go ahead and withdraw his Lapras. Use it for, like, Death Fodder. And he sends out this Japanese name, Snorlax. So, things aren't looking good now. I'm going to go ahead and get this Thunderbolt off. It's going to do next to nothing against Snorlax. I'm going to go ahead and run Ice Beam. It's going to do next to nothing against Snorlax. However, I get the Freeze Hacks. So Snorlax is now frozen. At this point, I'm thinking, okay, now's my chance to switch up and do something about this guy. I send in Terra, my Garchomp. He's still frozen solid, so I'm sitting here thinking, wow, I have a chance to take out this Snorlax. Sure enough, we run this cross chop. It's not enough to take him out, but it's okay because he's still frozen, which is amazing for me. He decides to switch out because he doesn't want to take another hit from my Garchomp and switches out to Venusaur. Venusaur comes in, he takes my Brick Break, and yeah, he takes it really well. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and switch out my Terra, bring him back, and I'm going to actually send out Sceptile. In case he runs Sleep Powder or some kind of grass thing. He runs Petal Blizzard. I'm going to easily be able to take that. It's not very effective, but it actually did a lot more than I thought. I'm going to go ahead and run Crunch with my set tile. And Crunch actually does a decent amount of damage. Venusaur runs Crunch. So at this point, since I battled Sam earlier, I know it's an in-game team against my um, <laughs> T 
team that I was raising. Here comes a Petal Blizzard. Petal Blizzard hits my Sceptile. It's not very effective, but it takes it takes me down. I go ahead and use Crunch against Venusaur. This whole time, guys, I'm laughing so hard. You have no idea, because I don't think I have a chance. He does Petal Blizzard. It's a crit hit. It takes out my Sceptile, unfortunately. For me. <laughs> I send out Natu. Natu comes out. He uses Petal Blizzard. I'm like, come on, Natu. Take the Petal Blizzard. Take it. Take it. He does take it. And he pecks. Pecks that Venusaur. Pecks the eyeballs of Venusaur. Causes him to go blind and out. Look, see? Eyes closed. He was down and out. Pikachu comes out. Certainly don't want to get attacked by Pikachu, but I don't really have a choice. Here comes Thunderbolt. That's going to be enough to unfortunately take out my Natu. Goodbye, Natu. You've done your job. You've pecked enough. <laughs> so, I switch out to Terra next. Terra's my in-game, um, in-game, um, <laughs> Garchomp. I go ahead and get this EQ off. That's enough to take out Pikachu. Pikachu goes down and out. So, in comes Lapras Max. Obviously, I don't want to take an attack from Lapras, but with that being said, he's got 1 HP. I think I can take him out. So, here comes the EQ. Takes out Lapras. At this point, oh man, I'm sitting there saying, please, can I take out his team? It'd be amazing. Blastoise comes in. I'm going to go ahead and use Dragonfall. It's my best attack against him. And then I forgot. Here comes the Waterfall. Waterfall is going to hit me. And I'm able to take it with Ruskin. Blastoise is getting hurt majorly. I'm going to go ahead and run Dragon Claw again. And it does quite a bit. Not enough to take him out. And then we see that. Water Gun. <laughs> Water Gun by Blastoise. I'm going to go ahead and Dragon Claw and get him out of there. Water Gun Blastoise. Wow. Not what I expected. Next, Sam sends out Snorlax. It was about done. I'm going to go ahead and Brick Break. No shenanigans here. Just get Snorlax out of there. So super effective on Snorlax. Snorlax goes out. Now looking forward to his next poke, Charizard. Now this is going to be a little harder, even though he's paralyzed and he gets that drought off. Charizard's a different animal. We are going to go ahead and run Dragon Claw on him. See how much damage we get with Stab. And it does a decent chunk. He runs Infernal. I'm able to avoid the attack, luckily. Run another Dragon Claw. Almost takes him out, but not quite. And then Charizard is paralyzed. At this point, I'm like, are you serious? I run Dragon Claw. I am able to take out Charizard. So, an exciting matchup here where Sam just got unlucky on some of the stuff. This is one of those where <laughs> you battle uphill, don't expect to win, but somehow, some way, I was able to pull it off. So, Sam, good battle man. Go ahead and... Um, <laughs> Go ahead and EV train your pokes, man, and give them some better movesets, because that would make your team an absolute monster team. Because Ash, po Ash Ketchum, man, you know, he's the champion, right? So um, just make his uh, pokes stronger. EV train and get better movesets on them, Sam. Let me know what you guys think here and offer encouraging words to Sam, guys. Go ahead and put those comments in the comment section here down below. And if you like this video, guys, and the underdog role, go ahead and hit that like button for me. It shows me that y'all appreciate all the videos here on my channel. We also have links here to Pokemon Battles, Pokemon Livestream videos, and to my Titanfall playlist in case you're interested, guys. To keep up with all my uploads and show your support, please share this video and subscribe to Mr. AGZ to join in on the GZ Army. We do live streams Sundays, Saturdays, and Wednesdays, and we also host different kinds of tournaments. So if you're interested in that, you may want to check out our Facebook page in the description or our Twitter account where we post some of that. Alright guys, until next time, catch them all.